This video shows how to create a north arrow. Uh, that map 3D will then use to rotate to the viewport scale. And so you just want to start by creating some line work. Uh, that represents your north arrow. So I'm just going to do something simple. And that's going to be my north arrow. Um, if you want to add some text, you can. I'm just going to draw an end to represent my north arrow. So there's my fancy block. Um, I like using shift control C to copy stuff with the base point. And you just want to put the base point where you want it to rotate it about. And then I like pressing control shift B to paste as block. And then I have this block. And then I just like to right click and do copy block definition and, and assign. And it'll open up the new block definition dialog box. And you can give it a name. And I'm going to call this north-c3dr. And now I have a block that I can use to create it. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete my other line work. So now I have the block. So I can right click and go to block editor. Here I have my block authoring palettes. And you want to go to the parameter sets. And you want to use rotation set. Here it's going to ask you for a base point. And I'm going to use 0, 0, or the midpoint, the point that I selected for my rotation point. And then you can move out to the right, um, however far you want to go, and then click, and then press Enter to accept the 0 value. I now want to modify my action set. And so you can use the right click when you click on the little action set icon and then choose new selection set. And then you can select all of the line work that you want to be rotated using this rotation. In order to have map 3D work, you need to change this angle one value. And you do that by opening up the AutoCAD properties. And you can change the angle one to map.view.rotation. And I believe capitalization matters. Uh, so just make sure to use the same capitalization. You can either leave these grips visible. And then that way, later on, if you want to modify it, you can easily do it using the rotation grips. In this case, I want to make sure that the users use the feature as intended. And so I'm going to say no to not show this map view rotation, the AutoCAD properties, when the block has been placed. And I don't want any grips, so I'll change this to zero, and that'll hide the grip. I can then press Close Block Editor. And now I have my north arrow block placed within the drawing. I can test this out by going to Layout. I'm going to use D view and then the twist um, and select my north arrow and then use the twist option and then rotate my viewport to whatever angle. In this case, I'm going to the right. So now I want to check to make sure that my block works. So from the layout elements, I can use the north arrow drop down and I can load my custom arrow. So when I click on that, that's going to open up the load custom north arrow. It's going to be down at the bottom. So here's my north C3DR label. I can select it and then hit OK. And then the command line is going to ask me to select a viewport for the north arrow. So I'll go ahead and select it. I'll select my location. And then my north arrow will be placed. In this case, I used a horrible scale. But I can see that it matches the north arrow within model space. And now I have that view. If I come in here and run D view again, I'm going to go ahead and select the object. So I'm going to try that again. So I'm going to go ahead and select my north arrow. Or I'm going to type D view. I locked my viewport. That's my problem. So I'll go ahead and do D view again. I'll go ahead and select the line work. 
I'll do T for twist and I'll rotate that line mark. I'll go ahead and press enter to end the command. And now you can see that my north arrow placed in paper space has now been rotated. And so now I've created a north arrow that's dynamically linked to the viewport. So when the viewport changes, the rotation, the north arrow re will be revised to it. And so this concludes the video on how to create a customized north arrow that works with Map 3D's feature.